All right, hey guys, what is up? It's Tim coming at you for week two. I can't believe it's already started in week two. I feel like we just got started seven days ago. And now we're on to week two of our 28-day nutrition and mindset challenge. First off, I just want to say congrats on doing awesome in the first week. And I know I can say to everyone, hi, Aubrey, how are you, sweetheart? Uh, that the fact that you're doing it, you're putting yourself out there, this challenge is not meant to be perfect. You want to come sit up here, sweetheart? You want to watch? It's not meant to make you perfect, right? It's not meant to be a challenge that you have a hiccup and you're out of there, right? That's like showing off or that's a, a competition, right? It's not a competition to say, hey, well, you're this dialed in. This is how we get those skills, right, honey? Right? Okay. You want to say hi? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm well on this camera. So what I want to do now is go over week two's 28-day challenge. I'm going to share my screen. We'll go over it so you have it. I'm going to post it up in our private Facebook group, which hopefully you're in there and you can see this. So here we go. Uh, this week, first week was all about awareness, right? You want to sit over here now? Well, no, you can't type. Uh, first week is all about awareness, right? Noticing the things we're doing, why are we in this challenge, what is different from uh, doing this. No, you don't want to go? Honey. Okay, you can get my phone, right? This is how it works. This is how we do it when we go from home. Right, we're awareness. What are the things we're aware Mama? of Mama? Um, doing this challenge? Mama? Yeah, go ahead. Mama? Okay, so I think she's off to get more water. We're all on our, on our water uh, stuff too, right? Uh, this week is about gratitude. Uh, gratitude here uh, is about having a grateful attitude. That's one of the biggest parts. And if you listen to Tony Robbins, has a great track on our visualization and mindset playlist. I recommend to listen to that at some point this week. It'll help a ton. What we're going to do now is we're starting off with some rituals to guide our day to start. What happens is we have good intentions. We want to do things. We want to be aware. But when the day starts rolling, it's hard to get going and redirect course, right? We're already on. We're out here. You're running errands. You're taking care of everyone else. And what about you? So what we want to do is start with two really simple tasks that anyone can do if you want to do them. Okay. You may have to wake up two minutes earlier. Literally, it can probably be about that simple if you say, hey, I don't have time in the morning. Let's say this will probably take about two minutes to do. Uh, the first one, something that uh, we do every day, are three grateful statements. And you can write these down. You can say them out loud. Uh, we say them to each other sometimes. Sometimes I write them down. That's fine. There's no right or wrong way to do this part other than doing it. You don't have to post these. Uh, you can if you feel inclined to post these. I've had people call me up uh, when, they, when I'm there. Uh, person they're thinking of and it's really really special and kind of cool that someone thinks of that and I wish I would do the same more honestly now that I hear that I go that's kind of a cool way to upgrade me doing this so here's how we do this you're gonna uh, start off and you're gonna have three grateful statements and again gratitude means having a grateful attitude because gratitude is the antidote to anger negativity all the kind of harsher things that we experience okay uh, and the reason is Tony Robbins says this in his uh, a track is you can't be grateful and feel negativity at the same time. So anytime you're stressed out to kind of help us have that as an anchor to find something we're grateful for helps redirect that course. And now we can make conscious, smart choices that are in line with our values and who we are versus feeling in the moment, you know, our uh, sympathetic nervous system takes over and we're like, ah, I'm not breathing and it's all bad news bears, right? So you're going to uh, have one something or someone, hi, sweetheart, that you are grateful for from your past, okay? It could be a different one every day. It could be the same thing every day. That's fine. If you're grateful for the same thing every day, that is awesome I and mean, nothing wrong with that. Uh, two is someone or something that you're grateful for today. So it could be something, uh, someone in your life that, man, something that's happening for you and you connect to that person, right? Again, there's not a right or wrong way to do that one, but something for today, someone from today you're grateful for, and then something or someone you're looking forward Hi. to in the future. Okay, so what is something you're grateful for? That might be, I have a trip coming up. Oh, I have nationals happening. I'm grateful I get to fight there and do that stuff, right? Uh, maybe an encounter you get to have with you know friends that you're going to go uh, meet up for uh, a, a walk later in the week. There's no, again, there's no right or wrong way of what you're looking forward to, to be grateful for. Right, Aubrey? Okay, then, so those are your three. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you get to start off the day with your athlete margarita. And no, it's not uh, a mixed drink. It's not an adult beverage that we're going to start off with. The day you get twisted, that's not really how this works. It's uh, a drink, actually, like a kind of concoction, I'll, I'll put it as, that is going to help a few different areas of your life. 
So this is an effective trick that helps improve uh, you know, impact digestion and help things such as adrenal function, detoxify pat different pathways in your body. And I'll talk more about this as the week goes on, just like we did last week. We started to kind of unravel things versus throw a thousand pieces of info at you all at once. Uh, you know you're not supposed to have those. Please and thank you. Can you put that back? Aubrey, please and thank you. Can you put that back? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, it's very sweet of you. Okay, so uh, what this is, it's room temperature water, a shot of lemon juice or lime, uh, some like lime juice or a lemon, right? And then a, a quarter uh, teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. Now I get it, it's Sunday night. If you don't have all the ingredients, that's okay. I just start off with room temperature water tomorrow, but if you have all of these, you're gonna start off and you're just gonna drink it. You're not chugging it, it's not like, i do this to it. Uh, just sip it normally. Probably take you about 60 seconds to drink it, maybe a couple minutes, depending on that. And what it does, again, even deeper than these biological things that are going to be happening to the your digestion, to your gut, et cetera, from this, right, is going to be that you're focusing on yourself to start. So it's really an anchor is the most powerful part of this, that you have something to do to start the day. That is for you. So your grateful statements, three of them, plus this athlete margarita, Every morning when you first wake up, this is what we're doing. And it's great. It's, it's, uh, you, might, you might think, it's him, this is silly. Man, when I first heard about it, I thought it was silly. And it is like go-to. And I really, I really thank Dr. Jason Hahn and uh, Coach Ryan Rivera for the one that opened up to me. Aubrey, you need something? No, no? Okay. So uh, now you're ready to start your day. That's the idea. So the full weekly and daily game plan here, you are our nutrition focus. We have a few new things. You're gonna still chew your bites 28 times, uh, 28 chews every bite. Uh, but I also want you now to put your fork down in between meals. In between, I'm sorry, in between meals. Yeah, carry your fork all day, great. Uh, put your fork down in between bites. If you have a sandwich, put that down while you're chewing it. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna increase your mindfulness and your awareness of that experience and help you stay slow. So the goal is not just to chew, put it down. It's going to help you relax. When we're like here, like we're always like ready, just notice the difference. I want you to be aware of the difference between eating and having that fork in your hand, even though you're doing the chews, doing it and putting it down. And it's different. It's very different. Uh, Coach Laura also wants you to challenge yourself to eat out one time less this week than normal. So is there a time you can replace eating out? with having your food prepared and bringing it with you, going back home and eating something. Uh, whatever that looks like for you is fine. We'll be talking about that again throughout the week and strategies for success. Uh, also, to remove the word cheat meal this week from your vocabulary. Uh, it has such a negative connotation, right? I'm cheating, I'm bad. If I have this, I'm a bad person, right? These labeling, now we start to dig the hole. Same thing we are talking about last week. Now we're increasing the steps with some more specific actions where we started off with awareness in general, now we start to implement some basic, simple prescriptions that we can do. What happens if you use the word cheat meal? You're out of the challenge. No, not, nothing bad happens. We wanna try and increase your awareness to not use that. And we'll get into what we can replace for this for the mindset there uh, and for the actual behaviors. So, and this is something I know Coach Laura does with her one-on-one -on -one clients a lot. It's obviously the macronutrient prescriptions, obviously the strategies of success and making sure you're set up for success but also kind of reprogramming the way we view our relationship with food. And then finally, the athlete margarita. Okay, a mobility focus. Coach Corey made a new playlist. You're gonna do three to five sets through. There's a video a link for YouTube here. Uh, you're gonna do 10 reps of the table rock, five reps of the bench squat to pike, and then 10 reps of the straddle walk. Three to five sets through, take your time, focus on quality. Uh, the breathing focus is exactly the same. You'll do mobility three times a week, the Wim Hof three times a week, same game plan as last week on those. And then your mindfulness, same thing. One track every day, your choice could be the same one, could be a new one. And then we're adding in your daily gratitudes to start off your day. Final thing is your accountability. The accountability has been very powerful. I can see how so much it still makes people scream to do. Hey, sweetheart, right, is the reflection of what you were grateful for that day or what part of this challenge you were grateful for. And in just a short time, I think I got cut off here, but I have the full text uh, out there in the email for you. Uh, and in this short time, how has your life changed from doing this challenge? Well, what is different? What are you noticing? Uh, good, bad, ugly. Again, you have full reign to, 
talk about mobility, talk about the eating stuff. There, there's no specific script we have to follow with this. It's your experience you're going through here. That's why I love doing individual program design. What, sweetheart? My dada. Yeah, I'm your dada, right? Are you my daughter? Hey, are you my princess? Princess. Princess, yeah. Uh, it's true. Uh, in a short time, that's why I love doing individual program design people because it's about your goal. What do you want to train for? Not trying to fit everyone into one thing. We have the general parts that we know work for everyone. Then how do we make those apply to you as a person on your journey and the things that are important to you and your life and your goals and where you want to be? Uh, I'll start off my grateful statements today. I am very grateful that you are trusting in this process and that when you hit a hurdle, we know that a hurdle is just an obstacle we have not overcome yet, okay? Again, some reprogramming, that's from Coach Graf. That's a great one there, that you get back on the horse and we say, fall down seven, stand up eight. Okay, fall down seven, stand up eight. You, you know, you, uh, we forget your athlete margarita in the morning, tomorrow's a new chance to get it right. Uh, you don't get your three grateful statements in the morning, okay, get them in the afternoon. Let's get back on. We can always get back on, we can always do this. And that's powerful right there, that belief in yourself that another chance, you're gonna get it. Uh, so this week, let's focus on your gratitude and your grateful statements. I'm excited to see your public posts of how that goes. Be sure and tag me and the other coaches in them so we can give feedback and hopefully we'll see the interaction we're all getting from those and how strong it's making everyone do this. So thank you so much and let's have an awesome week too.